get into it. No, I apologize. Sorry for the dirty hands. I've been painting in the garage today. Yeah, I should wear gloves. In fact, I was wearing gloves for a little bit of it. Where that tape's not. Not much of that. Okay. Sorry for the close camera angle. I'm trying a new setup today. Anyway. Okay, and as I said, this comes from Holystone. Okay. Oh, here's the model number. Right there. F-183W aerial drone. Anyway, um, okay. Let's open it up. Pull the slot. Ooh, okay. Pull out the plastic insert. Okay, box is empty otherwise. <clears throat> now, you know, I'll tell you something I harp on about whenever I do a drone review is that so many drones today don't come with manuals, especially the toy drones and the small drones. And, you know, it may seem like a small thing, but uh, Giving people proper instructions for use is, is really important and not many companies do it. So thank you, Holy Stone, for that. Okay, plastic off. And what have we got? We have a drone. Now it's a very light drone. Um, this is definitely, you know, toy grade plastic. And the benefit of that is that it keeps the weight down, and when you do crash, you don't do as much damage than you might with a heavier drone. But given that, just, you know, this is not, just remember that this is not a drone that you're gonna deliberately smash into things, okay? Now, these are brushed motors, and what's interesting is they're not um, direct drive, they've got gears. There's a bay down here, which is the battery door, and the camera also uh, attaches here. It clips on there and then plugs in there. And we'll take a look at that. Okay, we have four prop guards, two landing legs. Okay, I'm just gonna leave them all there. Um, props, always important. Okay, we've got a controller. Looks like it has the right bits and pieces. Okay. Um, and we have a couple things in the boxes. There's something taped to the bottom of the box. Okay. All right. And in here, we have a battery charger, and we have a second battery charger, and we have a smartphone holder, extendable. Ooh, very sexy. Okay, one more little box here. Let's keep these guys organized until we need them. Okay. Okay, lipo battery, also a lipo battery. These look like two cells. So we've got two cell batteries and looks like a Wi-Fi camera. So this is what connects to the bottom of the drone. Okay, so that's the unboxing. We're gonna do a quick uh, look at the Holystone Smart Drone. You've had a look at what's in the box. Let's talk about all the things in the box. So, um, look and feel, it's very light. The good thing is you're well under 250 grams uh, in Canada and for most places in the world. So you don't need to register this drone or have a license and that sort of thing. The second thing is if you 
have an accident with it, like clip a tree or something like that, it's less likely to be damaged in a fall because it is so lightweight, right? The more mass an object has, the more force there is in a crash. No! These are brushed motors. Um, not that it's gonna make any difference for somebody buying a toy drone, it doesn't really matter, but uh, the more expensive like racing drones and, and so forth have what they call brushless. Um, the difference is that the brushed motors are obviously less expensive to produce and that's why they end up in budget drones and make things like this affordable. But something else you don't see very often is uh, a gearing system for the motors. I thought that was kind of cool. Now, it's not unique. Other drones certainly do have them, but I hadn't seen a Holy Stone with one yet, so, okay. So that's the drone. Um, there is a bay at the bottom. You open it up and the battery inserts in here and there's a cable, okay? And this bottom you also clip on the camera, so we're gonna do that too. Now, as far as controls go, um, there's the typical joysticks. There's a couple of buttons here. Let's take a look at the instructions. Okay. Oh, yeah, so while we're here, the controller takes four AA batteries. So I've got some Amazon Basics that I purchased separately. These do not come with the drone. And get this sucker ready to go. We're gonna do a test flight today. Might only be a short one, but we'll do one. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay, power's on, flash. Looks good. We'll stick the phone holder in. Okay. Um, what else did I want to show you? Uh, we've seen this in the unboxing. There's two batteries. Uh, they appear to be two cell lithium polymer, so LiPo. Um, so do treat these very carefully. They're a little more dangerous than lithium ion batteries. So just be careful when charging them. Don't leave them unattended. Um, okay, batteries. It comes with two chargers so you can charge both at the same time, which is kind of nice. That's handy. Comes with landing legs. Okay, and we're gonna install those. But actually first, let's do this. I just wanted to cover how good this manual is. Now, you know, I bet you 75% of you guys don't even ever read the manual, and you know, I'm normally in that 75%, to be honest. <laughs> but when you do run into, a tr into uh, some kind of problem and you can't get it fixed, it's frustrating. So it's really nice that they have broken down all the different steps you need to do. Pairing, calibrating the gyro, one key start landing. They describe every function in detail. This is great. This is really great. And very few of the toy drone manufacturers take the time to produce proper manuals like this. Most of them just give you a QR code uh, on the box or something and you go to an FAQ and it gives you a few, you know, steps. But having a full manual like this, very important. And you know, it's likely gonna be the mom or dad reading this. So yeah, you guys are gonna appreciate this when your 14 year old's asking you how to bind the drone. Well, it's all in here. Uh, Okay, so here's all the different modes. Take photo, speed switch. There's an emergency stop. That's good to know. Ooh, so if you're flying the drone and it's going towards somebody and you don't know what to do, you pull both sticks in and down and it'll stop the engines and the drone will drop out of the sky. You may damage your drone, but at least you won't run into somebody. So that's a good thing. Uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about was the camera. So. It's not built into the drone. It's a little external module with uh, an antenna. So there's a, a transceiver in there. And what's this doing? Giving you a live video feed. So that's kind of neat. They call it an FPV drone, but I mean, technically speaking, it's not really an FPV drone. It, uh, yes, you do get a first person view through looking for your phone, but typically when we talk FPV, we're talking about flying drones with goggles, you know. <clears throat> That's FPV, you flying with these. When you fly with your phone, we typically don't call that FPV. That's typically a line of sight. But it does give you a video feed, which is good. 
Now, there is a little adjustability in terms of uh, angle of the camera. That's good. Um, okay, spare props and a tool. The tool's important because to install the propellers and the landing gear, you do have to tap a little screw into the plastic to hold things in place. So, and the uh, instructions detail all that. So, let's put on, let's start with putting on our landing gear. Actually, I wonder, this probably has steps for, see, I'm using the manual. Are you guys proud of me? I'm actually using the manual. Package contents, very handy. You know, so even something small like this is funny because say you want to order a part and you're some kid who's just bought a drone, you don't necessarily know what all these things are called, right? Well, there you go. Okay, here's where you can switch between the different modes, transmitter, what I'm looking for is propeller guard installation and landing gear installation, okay. So little screws in here. Oh, there they are. Pretty tiny. Pretty tiny. Okay, we don't need the spare props. Let's just put those away for now. <clears throat> I guess we could do landing guard. Uh, landing, excuse me. I guess we could do the uh, prop guards first. Let's see how you still going. Yeah. Uh, good job. Yeah, I'm actually filming on my uh, old Canon SX540 today because my good Canon 80D, which is a $1,200 camera, just stopped working. For some reason, it just stopped being able to read the SD card. Very sad, especially since it's going to cost like $300 to fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rock guards. Okay, there's little holes insert and there's also a little hole for a screw so let's push those in okay. the screws I'm gonna show you guys a little trick too okay. yeah, and yes you'll thank me for this one this is one of the best things I've ever purchased what is it? No, it's not a platinum bar. It's a permanent magnet. And the reason I use it, especially when you're here on the workbench, is whenever I'm working with small screws, I tend to lose them. So you can sweep this over the desk and it will very quickly pick up anything that's around. So I kind of leave this to kind of hold my screws as I'm doing things, okay? <laughs> That's all there is to it. So that's all you have to do. Okay, so we'll do all those. good job of putting together a lot of interesting things for a beginner drone. I remember another drone I bought from them. They gave you a little notebook with tabs and pens and stuff so that you could write down things as you were flying the drone or, you know, that you were trying to do. So just, you know, kind of a thoughtful little, little extra sometimes. Yeah, nice.
And last one. You know, to be honest, uh, clip-in prop guards would be nice. Always do. Just saying. In future, future battle. Okay. <clears throat> there we go. Prop guards on. Looks pretty impressive, guys. All right, landing gear. Landing gear, same process. Plug it in, and there are holes for screws as well. And the camera's making noise. Does that mean it's running out of battery or something? Check it. Still going? Oh, shit. Hmm. Well, I have no idea if that camera stopped recording or not. I haven't used it in years, so. I just pulled it out of the closet so that I could uh, do a couple of different things with this review. Okay, where did my little screwdriver go? Oh shit. <laughs> well, come on. Seriously? Oh, there it is. Yep. <sighs> okay. And one landing leg down, one to go. One more screw. We're almost done. And we gotta do the binding and the pairing. Oh, actually, we've got to install the camera. Okay. There we go. That looks, uh, that looks like a little phantom now, almost. <laughs> Significantly less price. <laughs> okay, what's next? Let's look at our instructions. Oops. Okay, props. Yep, landing. Okay, camera. So the camera clips in on the bottom. <clears throat> on the top of the door. I'm just gonna stuff that wire away for a minute just so that I can grab this. Okay, so the camera points to the front and we just, you can see there are little tiny tabs there. Just lock the tabs in. 
the back tab has to kind of go in first. Whoops, if I can. Oh, I better. Yeah, you know what? Make sure you're putting it on the front. The front has the nice Holy Stone logo, so yeah, start there. And you have it facing forward, have the camera pointing forward, and then it goes on the front clip first. Okay, and then just give it a hard push. Okay, that looks good. Uh, now we'll also plug it in. Now, the question you're probably asking yourself is, do you have to take the camera off to get access to the battery? I think the answer is no. We're gonna find out in a second here. Yes, we are. It is nice uh, that they allow you to take the camera off. Um, the upside of that is, if they come out with an enhanced camera or one with a gimbal or something like that, you could upgrade instead of having to purchase a new drone. Okay. There we go. Uh, yeah, camera's facing forward. Okay, so battery compartment. The drone's on it. I have to, a little harder to get my thumb there to slide it back with the camera in place. Actually very difficult. Let's try putting that on again. Okay. There we go. Okay, I think the secret is make sure the camera is tilted up before you kind of pull back. Um, then your battery compartment is accessible. Okay. And there we are. Whoops. <laughs> there we are. Okay, what next? Since we're being such diligent students and using the manual. Okay, drone battery, and we've got the transmitter battery. Okay, all right, let's install the drone battery. I will take one of my fresh batteries, and I will slide it down this hole, and we will connect. Now, there are two cables, so pay attention to this. This one is the charging cable, and this one is the, the, the power cable. So you, you cannot plug the other one in anyway, but this one's where you plug it into your, uh, your balance lead charger. Okay, so it's the two black terminals that are two black connectors that plug together. Now, the drone is not gonna come on right away because there's an auto switch as well. So let's go check that out. I'm just stuffing just stuffing the wires back in there. And... Close the drain. Hmm. Uh, the camera again. Okay. Uh, okay, it's a bit fiddly. The camera comes off easy enough, so it's not a big deal. I don't think it's in any danger of falling off. It feels well, there's, there's a friction fit, so I think it'll be just fine. Okay, well, there we go. So everything's on now for kicks. There's a little power button there, right down there. Let's turn it on. Oh my. That's what I'm talking about. Wow. So you'll notice there's different color LEDs for the front, the back, and the sides. So you'll always know the orientation of the drone at a glance. Red is the back, white is the front, blue is the sides. Very handy. Okay, let me turn this off. And we'll make sure that there's nothing else we need to do. I think we need to bind and so forth. Okay, pairing. Push the power button to on on the drone. Okay. All right, let's do this, guys. Okay. 
Place the drone on a flat and little surface with the head forward and the tail facing the pilot. Okay, so the Holy Stone logo goes away from you. All right, got that. And we have the prop guards on, so we should be okay. Okay, turn on the transmitter and you will hear sound. Oh shit, something I forgot. I'm actually filming with my iPhone that I need to uh, run this. <laughs> anyway, we can get the pairing done. All right, turning this on. Push the throttle joystick up, then down to pair the drone with the transmitter. Okay, the throttle is the left stick. The indicator lights in the drone will be solid if the drone is paired successfully. Well, the side ones are still blinking. Hmm. Not sure if that worked. I'm not sure. Things are flashing. Maybe it's just the red that's supposed to be solid. Okay, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out though. Uh, calibrate the gyro. Okay, simultaneously push the left joystick and the right joystick to the bottom left-hand corner. So down here, down here, like so. Okay. The indicator light on the drum will blink and turn solid. It indicates the calibration is completed. I don't think I see anything. Maybe in here. Is there another light that I'm supposed to be looking at? So I'm not sure, guys. I'm not too sure. I'll try it again. Hmm. Okay. One key start land. Okay, so they're showing us the little buttons here. Alright, I guess we're almost at the point where.
Mm-hmm.